Welcome back to Lethal Hammer's channel. Just wanted to create a video and show you just how loud these cards can get on stock. I mean, um, I know I'm going to be going water cooling anyways, but just wanted to show you the noise level. I, I don't have a DBA or a DBA tester and whatnot, but I can just crank these up individually um, or one by one. So we'll start first with uh, one GPU only. Currently the fan is sitting at 40%, that's the stock speed. If you listen, it's fairly quiet. And I'll just go up uh, 10 at a time. That's at 50% fan speed. Go up another 10%. That's 60% fan speed. There's 70% fan speed. Now to let you know, during all my benchmarking so far, I've never seen the auto fan jump below, uh, above 60%. Um, the 480s and the 470s, those fans would kick up pretty quickly because the cars ran pretty hot. So it's a pretty good testament on how good these uh, vapor coolers work on these cards. They do keep them cool enough to where the fan doesn't have to boost up. I mean, right now at 70% fan speed, uh, the card is sitting idle at 36 Celsius right now, so it's it's pretty cool. We'll bump it up to 80. So at 80%, it starts getting a little more audible. Again, just to let you know, 85% is the highest that um, that EVJ Precision will allow you to boost it. I'm sure uh, people will hack the drivers and whatnot and be able to get up to 100% to see how loud it can get. But I'll bust it up uh, to 85%. This is as loud as it can get. This is still one card. So, it's fairly loud. I mean, it's not as loud as the 480, 470s were. Um, but, you know, once that fan is cranked up all the way, it does get pretty loud. And just to let you know, my temps are dropping now almost to... They're at 30 Celsius right now on the card. So it does a very good job at adequately cooling the, the card, even when it's not under load. Um, you know, if it was a little bit cooler in here, um, it'd be about right. It's about 27 Celsius in the room right now. Uh, so, I mean, it's fairly cool in here, so don't get me wrong. So we'll reset back to default. And we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do both cards. You'll hear the the one card slowly drop back down. We'll go ahead and just put them both at 40. So this is with both cards. They're currently at 40% fan speed. We'll bump them up just to 50% right away. So right now both cards are set to 50%. I don't know if you can hear the humming noise. I mean, my case is water-cooled, so I do have one, two, Six, seven fans also running in the background, um, but they're really quiet. Uh, the pump is what's making that uh, kind of like whining noise. Again, I don't know if you can hear it, but we'll bump the cards up to 60%. Again, this is both cards running at 60% fan speed. And we have 70% fan speed. Now again, I've never seen the cards actually hit this level unless I manually set the fans to run at this high. Uh, so again, um, this is these are pretty much settings that you'll only see if you're cranking it up and I'm assuming the fans would probably jump up a little bit higher if I had a third card in, in between, um, just limiting the airflow even more. So, and uh, we'll bump them up to 80%. And 
max max uh, speed, 85%. Now, that's fine and dandy, but most people don't run their systems with their side case panel off, so I'll go ahead and put this back on. See, it doesn't make too much of a difference, but, I mean, it, it's a little bit quieter, but if I drop it down to about 60, 65%, which is, again, even above the max that I've seen, I've only seen the fan hit about 56% fan speed. But at 65% with the case closed up, it gets pretty quiet. I'll drop it down to I'll drop it down to 56%. I can't even hear the graphic cards over my uh, my 655 pump now. So um, these cards do run cooler. They do run quiet. Um, for the most part, even during just normal run or mid-range loads. Uh, when they get under high high load, they do warm up a bit. Don't get me wrong, they do get warm. Um, but they do run cooler than the, than the 480s. I mean, I'm shocked. I mean, the stock temp on these cards is the same temperature I pretty much ran my uh, 480 hydrocoppers under, on water. Um, you know, the, the temps are right around there. So I, I'm really eager to get water blocks on these cards to see how much better they'll perform. Obviously, they'll give me a much better overclock with keeping the temps down on the chips. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And so uh, stay tuned for more videos. Again, this was the GTX 580 sound test.